Hey friends, it's Kristen. Today I'm making cookies and I wanted to share this recipe with you because it is so easy, so delicious, and super versatile. So today I am making a chocolate cookie with peanut butter frosting, but the cookie and the frosting can be changed for so many different flavors. So this is a cake mix cookie. Um, so this is the base, so whatever flavor cookie you want is the box of cake mix that you're gonna use. Today we're doing chocolate. So in goes our box of chocolate cake mix. And to that, we're gonna add a half a cup of oil and two eggs. Hopefully I don't get shells in there as I'm doing our video today. And we're gonna add about a half a cup of chocolate chips. So I just have a small bit left in that bottle, in the bag. I'm not gonna go ahead and measure, just gonna go ahead and add those in. And we're gonna go ahead and use our stand mixer to do this because it's gonna mix beautifully and it's very, very hands-off. So I've added our paddle that has a scraper bar on it. We're gonna go ahead and lock this into place. We're gonna use the preset here to move to mix and it tells me that it is the right attachment that I have with the paddle. And it, the preset is for two minutes and 30 seconds, but that's way more than I need with this recipe. So I'm gonna turn it down to just 45 seconds. All we need to do is just mix up the ingredients that they're incorporated. Whoops, I'm gonna get down to 45 seconds. And we're gonna push the button and let it go. And it's gonna mix um, all at the right speed. It's gonna gear up a little bit during that 45 seconds. And then when it's done, it's gonna stop automatically. Let me move the camera in just so you can see a little bit about what is happening in there. Time to scoop our cookies. Wanted to show you first uh, by using the uh, stand mixer with this paddle with the scraper bar, how beautifully it mixes everything. I didn't stir anything. This is right off the mixer and you can see how all the ingredients are incorporated and how it actually scrapes the side and everything gets um, added into what you're making. Um, when it comes to scooping your cookies, we have four different sizes of scoops now. I'm gonna make these the largest scoop um, just because it resembles more of a bakery cookie. I don't know if you guys have crumble cookie in your area, but we do and they're huge delicious cookies. But we do have a small scoop. It is one tablespoon in measure. I'm gonna kind of put these side by side. Sorry for the noise. One tablespoon is the small, two tablespoons is the medium. And then we move into the large, which is three tablespoons, and the extra large, which is four tablespoons. So no matter what size cookie you like, uh, we have a scoop for you. Again, I'm doing the large one today. And we're gonna go ahead and just get a scoop of our dough. Um, with this, it has, uh, as you squeeze it, it, um, it releases the dough, so it makes it really easy to scoop everything up, make everything very even so that they will cook very evenly. You can cook on um, our metal sheet pans. They're uh, professional grade, so if you um, really want to feel like a professional baker, you can use those. But I have been cooking on, I've been baking my cookies on stone year, stoneware for years and years and years. And so that is a preference of mine as well. So I'm going to actually do half on stoneware, half on the metal sheet pan, because it really doesn't matter. They're going to come out delicious either way. And we just want to get them in the oven so that we can finish off our cookies. And I'm using, the cookie sheet is the metal pan, but we do have sheet pans in that line. And I'm using the, um, the bar pan for the, the stoneware one. Again, you could even use your pizza stone if you, if you wanted to, or a cookie sheet, so. Okay, our cookies are ready to go into the oven. But look at that, these are gonna be big, giant, bakery-style cookies. I cannot wait to uh, show you how we're gonna frost them with our peanut butter frosting. Hey friends, it's time to make the frosting for our cookies. As I had said earlier, I'm making chocolate cookies, so I'm doing a peanut butter frosting because I think that complements great. Who doesn't love chocolate and peanut butter? But based on your cake flavor is the flavor of buttercream that you're doing and you can mix and match for whatever flavors you want. What I'd really like to show you though is how great the preset for cream is on this stand mixer because for years I thought I knew how to cream butter and shortening and I didn't according to how beautiful it does it with this. And it is a preset where you just push a button, it knows the speed and the time to get the optimal creamy frosting that you're looking for or creaming any kind of shortening. So our recipe is a half a cup of peanut butter. So we'll go ahead and get that added in here. Let me grab a scraper. Had a little mishap with my um, with my powdered sugar. It kind of went all over the place, but that's what we have. We have a two cups of powdered sugar that are going to go in here. We're going to, whoops, got too many things going on here. Let me Get every last bit of powdered sugar out of here that I can. 
chips, there we go. And we're gonna go ahead and add one stick of butter. And that's what's gonna make this so good is all that butter that's in here. And we're gonna go ahead and add three tablespoons of milk. And then all we need to do is, gotta clean my fingers first, is we're gonna go ahead and add our paddle to this. Get this in the right place. And we're gonna go ahead and put this back down. We're gonna turn to cream, which is a preset, and it's set for two minutes and 50 seconds. We're gonna let it go for that whole time. Go ahead and push this to start. And I'm gonna pull this over so you can take a look and see. And you're gonna also hear how the, the motor ramps up as we go along. So it's gonna start slow as it's incorporating everything. You're gonna notice with the scraper bar on that paddle, it is going all the way to the sides and it's gonna incorporate everything. You don't need to use your own scraper to get in there and try to get things mixed up. Okay, and you can hear how the motor is ramping up. It's going a little bit faster and it's gonna to continue to do that. It is time to ice our cookies. Um, as you saw in my earlier segment, we made some peanut butter frosting, used the cream setting, and look at how beautifully and smooth that icing is. It's just gonna be so good. And we're gonna go ahead and ice our cookies. Look at these, are they not delicious? These are like big bakery style cookies that are gonna be so good. So we're just gonna smear on the icing. Um, this icing, um, I have made it before and it's not terribly rich. I'm not like a big icing person that I like it to be really icky sweet. Um, and this is not. So I really uh, don't hesitate to kind of pile it on just like at a bakery, but it's not gonna be too sweet or um, whatever. So there we go. And then I have some nuts that I have chopped with the food chopper uh, that we're gonna go ahead and sprinkle a couple on there as well, just as a little garnish, just like they would do in a bakery where they kind of take one of the ingredients ingredients and kind of sprinkle that on top. So we have our imitation crumble cookies, as I call them, uh, with, with that. So a nice big bakery cookie that is so easy to make and delicious. And the stand mixer certainly makes it easy with a push of the button to get all the ingredients made just right. And you can mix and match your flavors, as I had mentioned earlier. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you'll make these cookies and because they are super delicious. Happy cooking.